So, like I said, Mike Zim's defense is what it is. And it's always a situation that most people think that is not, but you got too many people talking about this. Let's listen to this audio right quick. Let's listen to it. Went up against Mike Zimmer, the defensive coordinator, when he was with the Vikings and with the mm -hmm. Bengals. I mean, this mm -hmm. guy's a he's a heck of a coach. Yeah. They put those two linebackers right up in there in those A-gaps between the center and the guard, and they bluff them, they bring them, they bring four over there, four over there, multiple coverages. Listen and properly. They got this guy, Micah Parsons, nobody can block him. Uh, yeah. And the crowd noise works in their favor. They're loud, and it's hard to communicate. you got some young tackles out there in New Orleans. Maybe a uh, protection plan. What do you see about that matchup there, Drew? I'll say this. We played against Zim a bunch, and there's never a week that I expended more mental energy right. in getting prepared for a defense than Come going up against way. a Mike Zimmer defense. Here. Because just like you said, the minute they walk up those two linebackers in the A-gaps, even if they're just bluffing them, right, it gets you thinking so much about, man, where can I get the ball out? Come man? on with it. You went up against Mike so, so before we go a little bit further, I'm, I'm not making this stuff up. So defense win championships, not saying that we're going to win all of the championships. But what I'm saying is collectively, we didn't have this in many of years here in Dallas. Now, granted, it's been only one game. So we need to see whether or not the Cowboys can at least bring forth some good attention like what we did in this past game to this game. Now, defense travel. Now, we go on to the house for this game. So it's a home game. I'm looking forward and towards this particular game as a dominant one. Let's listen to this other part of this audio. Hold on. There we go. To do what bring some sort of a combination, whether it's both of these guys or mm -hmm. they overload the right, they overload the left, they spin as they spin into this quarters or this palms, we used to call it, or is it more three by one? They're going to spend a single high. Like, what? where are my answers, right? How am I getting this thing protected down in distance, right? Like, what, what, what do we need to do to combat this? So it was, man, it took so much mental energy, and we had to have such a precise plan for all of it. So... Yeah, bottom line is, if you don't have a plan, he will make you look stupid. And you will not get a third down pass off, right? Um, it's that good a scheme. So um, they got their work cut out. Coverage, are they potentially? It's saying, that's Drew Brees, the mighty Drew Brees, man. And uh, he's one of those guys that can throw the ball, circumcise a gnat with his accuracy. So I know for sure that that brother, when you talking about quarterback play, there's too many, too many. Elite quarterbacks that are saying that Mike Zim's defense is is pretty much crazy good, and that's that Zimology. You know what I'm saying? That's that situation whereas you can sit back and say to yourself, "The Zim's is able to get things going to help this team out." Drew Brees said it. We heard Aaron Rodgers say it. So now it's the time to see. How we can continue to stack upon good games upon good games. And it's all could be possible as long as these guys are buying in. And that, my friends, what we were seeing collectively. The Cowboys, Michael Parsons. The Cowboys, Demarcus Lawrence. Put law in the chat. Also, with that being said, Overshawn, Mears Leofile, my guy Trayvon Diggs and Keelan Carsons. I can go on and on and on. I, I'm quite sure that this probably be the best sets of weapons that Mike Zim ever exhibit and exude. So, hey, post me your thoughts, post me your concerns down below, Cowboy Nation. All I can say is defense win championships, and if you ain't staying up all night trying to uncover what Zim is doing, it's a long uphill battle. On top of that, just to add to, the Cowboys this last game only operated out of three sets. Like I said, defense travel, we back at the house. The tape that the Saints offensive coordinator or team in general looking at, it's not even going to be tangible for this week because they change it every week. And by the time you get to understand what he's doing, it's too late. Just like I talked to Mike Zim while I was out there in Oxnard. He said, I'm not going to give you the same look twice. Hmm. So what about the same game twice? He's not going to show you the same thing. 
that spend my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Let's go. Let's get it. Salute.